Good morning. Happy Thursday. Thank you for all of the nice comments. I haven't been able to get through all of them, but I, we totally appreciate it. This, I'll go into more detail later about all of this, but now you know why I'm in a little, a little slump. It is, yeah. <laughs> So today here at The Blended Nest, I actually have a project. I have a project! I am going to add the glass to the swing door that goes right there. I'm adding the glass. And the installer is gonna come and install the door because I do not trust myself drilling into these floor tiles because the, the door is a swing door. So it attaches at the top and then at the bottom, there's a plate and the screws go in, in the tile. I will not be attempting. I will be working on that this morning. Bug has a groomer appointment at 11. So I'm going to take him to that. And I don't think we have anything this evening. We have had doctor's appointments almost every day. And today is no doctor, no doctor's appointment. Tomorrow we're on it again, but that's okay. We get a, we get today is a reprieve. So I'm trying to think of something fun for dinner tonight. And when I figured that out, I'll let you, <laughs> I'll let you know. before I go out in the cold and get this glass put in. I did check the temperature that you can use the silicone in it. It is. Under 35 degrees, they say no, but it's for it's probably 45 outside. So I'm going to show you what we we need to do still in this bathroom to get it up to par. I am going to have someone come and install the crown molding. I don't have the mental capacity to do that right now. I just don't. So I'm going to paint the wall, and then I did pick up some high gloss paint to paint this. There used to be a medicine cabinet when they built this bathroom and they didn't, they cut these tiles to put the medicine cabinet in. So we had the hole filled in. That's why you can see there, they put the drywall mud here. So I need to paint this. The, the guy primed it, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll figure that out. And then I added some quarter around here that I'm going to paint to match the tile and add a skirt and then it should be finished. I don't know if you remember this, but this is the old swing door and it had probably 10 layers of paint on it that I stripped off. And then I had the gentleman that did the kitchen, I had him remove this panel because I didn't trust myself. I just didn't, didn't. And he did such a great job. So we ordered some glass that I'm going to be adding today and putting the trim back on here. I just dropped Bug off at the groomer. The baby is sleeping, silicone is drying. I am sanding down the trim that I'm going to be placing around the glass. I'm doing that here in a second, but I got Happy Meal. Happy Meal. This is my favorite Happy Meal in all of the land. I got this from Auntie Candle Co. if you didn't see. peppermint bark. One, two, three, four. Do you think I like it? I also ordered a couple of tree farms and a couple of home for the holidays, so I should be stocked up. I am stocking up because they're still 30% off site-wide, and if you spend over $75, you get an additional candle called Mama's Kitchen Candle, which is one of their all-time selling candles. You get that for free. There's always free shipping. Happiness guarantee. If you get this peppermint bark candle and say, you know, it's not my favorite, they will replace it with one that you will love. 
trying to look at messages in between everything, the running, the siliconing, everything. This Sherpa jacket, I can, I can literally live in it. It is so comfortable. I tried it on last night and I said, Rob, what do you think of that? He goes, oh my gosh, that looks really good. It's a Walmart find. Walmart. They have this in black also, but this is corduroy. And then it has these little piping, edging, edging. And then this is a little corduroy piece too, along with the bottom with this little edging. Super duper comfortable. I grabbed a small because again, I don't like, I don't like swimming in things. Also, I bought it because I thought, how cute would this outfit be? This one, because this is a taupe and it's got this little brown edge, so you could probably wear it with this, or I showed these the other day. Are these? I think I, I might be styling in these. Now, have I tried these on yet? No, I haven't. Let's do that now. These are a no-go. I should have gotten a wide. These are, can't even get them on my feet. When you get my age, you kind of, your feet kind of start getting a little wider. Sadly, I'm going to have to take these back and order a wide if possible. But let's try these. Strike two. They're too long. I normally wear eights, but apparently these bands are a little too long. So I'm going to have to take these back and get a seven and a half. I am definitely getting these though. I'm getting these. These are, these are a keeper. The door is done. The bathroom is almost finished. I just got in a text saying that Bug is ready to be picked up, but I have to just wait a little bit because she just came out an hour or so ago, and if I throw her in her crate right now, <laughs> I think she'll explode. I'm pretty sure I said thank you this morning. If I didn't, thank you for all of the kind messages and thoughts, prayers, etc. I'm slowly getting through them. I will be keeping you updated on every single thing that's happening. I also want to bring awareness to what Rob has is renal cell carcinoma. If I'm not mistaken, renal cell carcinoma, and I think another name for it is clear cell carcinoma, makes up 90% of renal cancers. And Rob was very aware over four years ago that something was wrong, even though he had this little teeny tiny sign. Usually they catch renal cell later in the game, when a patient starts having pain in their kidney, he didn't have pain. He just had a couple days of blood in his urine and that was it and it went away. And if we didn't get that looked into, things could be way, way worse than they are now. And I think he has been blessed this entire way for so many reasons. About this entire four year journey. He has not had any pain whatsoever. And he's been on two immune therapies. One is Keytruda and the other one was an oral pill that he can only take for a short amount of time because the pill made him very sick and gave him an acute hepatitis that went away as soon as he stopped that pill. Hasn't lost his hair, hasn't been sick, hasn't been nauseous, hasn't had any symptom what well he's had dry mouth but that that's it and that in itself when you have cancer is a huge huge blessing he's had other spots come up like in his lung in his other kidney and those have been easily taken care of with Keytruda that got that basically it didn't get rid of it because what we were told is the cancer doesn't go away it's just Shrunk, it, it shrinks and it lays there dormant. And we have just been, he has been so healthy through this entire journey that we question, we look at each other 
he looks at me and says, do, are the scans right? Because I, he never feels, he never feels anything. On the flip side, we're so grateful that we have caught all of these things at a very early stage. I think this one threw us for a little loop because to be honest, it took me two years, two years to get comfortable with the idea that this is something that he's going to have to fight for for the rest of his life and not wait for that shoe to drop. And so the last two years, it's been smooth sailing. And then to hear this new spot, it's like Rob told me, it's like hearing the new di- uh, hearing the original diagnosis all over again because he's been cancer-free for two years. So, you know, if you've ever had a family member or anything go for, through this, there are so many emotions that run through your We found this out Tuesday. So nine days ago, and again, it's, it's like hearing it all over again, and you go through this funk. You go through this, these stages of being worried, of being sad, of being scared, of being, it's this, I, I can't even tell you the thoughts that have run through my mind, and it all comes back to God and it all comes back to trusting him. I think it, the two years that I just couldn't get, get through, get by, I was just on edge for two years. It's, I look back at it today and think, what changed? When did it change? And it changed when I said, okay, God, here you go. Here's the situation and you take it. And I had to do the same thing again with this new new spot. I had to get to the point where I said, okay, God, here you go. Here it is. And as soon as I gave him that, as soon as I give him anything like that, I get this internal peace and so does Rob. And he is the... He's the ultimate one. He's, he's everything. Don't mean to bore you or talk your ear off, but just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what goes through your mind, what goes through anybody's mind when this diagnosis is thrown at you. But... God's got it handled. He does. I trust him 100%. 100%. And I feel a lot better. I feel better that I gave it to him. So I will keep you updated. Tomorrow is his radiation. It's around 11 o'clock. And the only side effect of that is he might be tired. And we don't have anything really planned except tennis on Sunday and then surgery on Monday. I did want to say one more thing of how I know God has his hand in this. First of all, I worked in neurosurgery for nine years. So I'm well aware of Rob's surgery, of what all of this entails. I'm well aware of that. And... When I was a nurse, we didn't do radiation prior to surgery. We did surgery and then radiation. But I think Rob's situation is a little different because our patients came in emergently. Like they needed surgery tomorrow. Rob's is in a good spot and the Decadron, he's on a steroid that is shrinking the edema. There was a lot of swelling because of how the brain is when your brain swells you it can't really go anywhere because you're it's encapsulated in your skull but rob's is right here in the back and it is in a an area that is it, it takes care of 
your coordination, your balance, movement, etc. And we are blessed. Sorry, she's doing something weird. We're so blessed that they can zap the tumor prior to removing it, which means they will be able to see the exact area of the tumor and the millimeters around the tumor. They can zap it and hopefully zap any cells that could be left behind from surgery. If it would have been the other way around, if they did the surgery first and then the radiation afterwards, there could be cells left. But doing it this way gives him a 90% chance that it will not come back in that spot. And that's just another thing that I am, I am so grateful for because I know, I just think, God, I, I don't know why Rob has this. I, I, I don't. I don't know why people have cancer. I don't, I don't understand it. But I am choosing to find the blessings in all of this, and that is a blessing in itself that he can have the radiation first. I am very, very blessed with that. And I'm very blessed that I know, I know all about this stuff. Tonight we are having something very, very easy for dinner. I think it's easy. It is shrimp and steamed vegetables with rice that I made in the rice cooker. And for the shrimp, I just melt butter and then I throw the raw shrimp in it and season it up really well. This time I used something I got from Aldi. If they still have it, I would grab it if you can. I actually grabbed more. It looks like this. It's the roasted garlic and herb. It is so, so good. We eat a lot of rice and we started using this rice cooker six months ago. I think we bought it when we were redoing the kitchen. We use it all of the time. In fact, my youngest son has a smaller one of these and he said, I don't, he doesn't even know how he lived without it because it is so easy. You throw the rice in here. I actually made chicken rice. You throw it in here with the water and the butter. You turn it on and it will cook depending how much water is in there. There's a weight. This will go down depending on the water. So it tells this how long to cook it and it cooks it perfectly every single time.